This is a short video to discuss the op center rule called the waiting rule. Now, if we take a look at all of our options, we've got forward sequencing and backward sequencing. And normally, a forward sequence is typically has one parameter that's going to emphasize uh, the schedule. So I'm going to take a look at forwards by due date. This is a standard normal thing. Um, we've got 98% on time. This is our KPI window at the bottom and 972 hours of setup time. So within the entire schedule, we're spending nearly a thousand hours cleaning, cleaning between product changes. So we want to see if we can do better than that. I'll pull these off the board and we'll take a look at our set weight function. This allows us to apply anything from 0 to 100% on almost any attribute that you have inside the model. Um, so the one I just did due date basically was as if I had done this. Set 100% on due date and nothing else. Get rid of that one. So the due date one was out. I'm going to pull that one down and this time I'm going to look at table attribute 2 which I know to be the raw material family which you can see over here these different colors representing different raw materials. So I'll go ahead and sequence forwards now by weight. So we're looking at just that raw material family. And you see we actually picked up a percentage of on-time deliveries and our setup time has dropped to 887 hours. So we've gained about 100 hours of setup time merely by sequencing using that raw material as our prime, prime driver. Let's take one more look and this time we will go and change our set weight and we will take raw material family off and we'll put color on. So we'll emphasize raw, uh, the actual product color this time. Sequence forwards by weight. And you notice that we're now at 100% on time. That's actually rounded up because I do have one late job. But our setup time has dropped all the way to under 700 hours. So we've pretty much gotten close to saving 300 hours of setup time merely by sequencing by the color. Now if I change the color as you can see now that pretty much it has done a very good job of keeping those colors together and minimizing the amount of changeover that you have to do. Now that was all for one parameter typically um, in this case I didn't have to worry because I'm completely uh, on time but you have all these rules that you can apply so you can do things like you know 75 percent or so on the due date most some on color you can bring raw material family in you can say okay you can rerun that schedule and then check in your KPIs you can see what that did so typically the first thing you do is figure out which is your main driver and then you can look at playing with these sliders and this basically um, giving a creating a, a, a complex priority scheme for pre-actor to go ahead and sequence and see what the results are so it really works well in a um, a what-if environment while you're trying to figure out what the main drivers are for your schedule.